Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to place improper fractions on a number line. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have seven thirds. And the first thing that we should do is convert to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of three can we pull out of seven? So we can pull two whole groups with one left over, keep our denominator the same. So two and one third. If you need help with converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, I have a video on that. I dropped the link down in the description. So now that we have the equivalent mixed number, it's going to be easier to place that on a number line. So we know two and one third is going to be between two holes and three holes. So this portion of the number line. So we need to split that into thirds or three equal sections because of our denominator, we have two plus that one third. So let's split into thirds here. And this mark here is two and one third and then we have two and two thirds. Now two and three thirds would be our next mark, this three right here, two and three thirds because three thirds is equivalent to one whole. So two plus that one whole would give us three. Remember, whenever you have the same numerator and denominator, it equals one whole. So our given fraction or mixed number is seven thirds or two and one third, which would be right there. Now, the other way to think of it, like the top of your screen says, there are two different ways to think about this. Well, we can go straight from seven thirds. Let's cut the rest of the number line in thirds between the whole numbers. Here would be one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, and seven thirds. So we end up at the same place right here. And that makes sense because seven thirds is equivalent to two and one third. So on to number two where we have 15 fourths. And the first thing we want to do is convert to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of four out of 15? Well, three. That gives us a remainder of three, and we keep our denominator of four the same. So three and three fourths. So on our number line, our mixed number is going to be between three and four. So let's split into four equal sections or fourths between three and four because of our denominator here. So this would be three and one fourth, three and two fourths, or three and a half if you were to simplify, and then three and three fourths. So our fraction of 15 fourths and mixed number of three and three fourths would be right there. Now let's split um, each section of the number line in between whole numbers into fourths here. And we can do fourths by splitting in half and then splitting the halves in half. That will give you fourths. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 fourths puts us at the same place. And again, that makes sense because that improper fraction, 15 fourths is equivalent to three and three fourths. So there you have it. There's how you place an improper fraction on a number line. I would suggest converting to a mixed number first, but you can also go straight from the improper fraction, whatever works best for you. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.